You see, we have always said that if someone is meant to jubilate, then we should give it to Olori Naomi. Yes, Olori Naomi deserves all the jubilation, all the celebrations, and every single good thing that has been coming into the palace. And we are quite grateful that all of them keep coming to her. Yes, we are grateful that all the good things keep coming to Olori Naomi. So now you'll be wondering what again, my people. <laughs> Because these women have been fighting tirelessly, endlessly to make sure that Olori Naomi does not see the breaking of another day in the palace. That has just been their goal. Yes, it is nothing more than that because the whole fight revolves around Olori Naomi returning back into the palace, coming back to take her rightful place as the Oni's wife because they felt that they are better off being Oni's wife and there is no need for Naomi to return back into the palace but the thing there always remains that the only would prefer naomi back into the palace than having a pool of this woman still remain married to him that is always the problem only prefers olori naomi to all of them so the question now remains that who is going to determine who would stay because what the only wants is for naomi to return back into the palace but what his wife wants is for Naomi to stay far away from the palace. Yes, it's for Olori Naomi to stay far away from the palace and never, ever even step her foot into the palace. Because from all indication, that is what they are trying to prove on daily basis. That is the character they are trying to exude every single day. And right now, no, my people, Oni has finally, finally done it. And you know, Olori Naomi, she's celebrating because this kind of victory doesn't come on a daily basis and this kind of victory are things that you see on rare occasions very very rare occasions so now what is happening you know that over time these women have fought naomi and that is an established fact they have not even given her that room to you know breathe for a meaning because they categorically feel that with naomi in the palace they have no space they have no room they even have no authority at all because look at when the court ruled in favor of Olori Naomi the best thing Toby could do was to pack her things with immediate effect and leave the palace because she felt that with Olori Naomi in the palace she is as good as nothing yes and from all indication Olori Naomi is not even the type of person who oppresses this woman it is just a matter of inferiority complex them feeling that uh, if Naomi comes into the palace Naomi will make us feel like this Naomi will make us feel like this and all of those things that have caused this thing now you see it is very funny their reason for fighting has finally been established and on that fact they only have used different measures different tactics different strategies to pull them out of the palace. Olori Toby is now out of the palace. Miriam is out of the palace. We heard of how she keeps on visiting Akure. We don't know her goal. We don't know her aim. We don't know what she's going to Akure to do. But we just hope that it ends well for her because Olori Naomi is currently in Lagos. So even if it is to go fight Naomi, she will fight herself because Naomi is not there for her to go fight. And now Olori Toby has landed herself in a prison cell for offering another woman's husband marriage because she has been displaced out of her supposed husband's house or the husband whom she cannot listen to the husband who if he says one toby will say ten that husband who nothing nothing he says matters or nothing he says is relevant to olori toby so as it is right now no my people this is how far this matter has gone this is how bad this matter is and as it is at the moment these women are in one way or the other facing it for themselves yes they are in one way or the other facing it because all those times that they only try to cope with this situation by telling his wife stop you know the one is a very very tactic and creative in fact a very very a very very considerable man to a point that he knows this thing is not right but he does not call you out and point to the whole world to let the whole world know that and eh, what this person is doing is wrong what this person is doing is wrong rather he lets you learn your lesson the the, the hard way Yes, because what his wives are learning now is technically they are learning the hard way. Yes, technically those women are learning 
the hard way because if you ask them <laughs> they were not prepared for any of the things they are seeing right now yes they were not prepared for it and you see how this whole matter can be when they say calm down they will say no 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 we cannot calm down we cannot calm down it is that very thing that that they are saying we should calm down calm down that is where we want to enter that is it that is it and and at the end of it all <laughs> it will not favor them because whatsoever is happening in the palace right now the only does not even care if it, it if it for if it for favors them in any way the only does not care what the only wants is insanity what the only wants is a peace of mind yes that is what the man wants and as it is right now now obviously he will get it because this time around he, he is not the one who who, who who decided to lock toby up when he locks toby up they will raise an alarm that why will you lock your wife up this time around is Oluri Shekina that has locked Oluri to be up. And let's see how the whole matter will progress because the, who have decided to lock Toby up, it is someone that Toby would not have played with. This is someone that Toby would not even have considered tempering with because with the whole thing happening, that woman has been at a last that anybody that comes to her side, she would treat the person's fuck up and Toby mistakenly crossed the line yes toby mistakenly crossed the line oh my people love this matter they talk say you know the end but it will definitely come to an end one day we will see the end of this matter and everybody will see the rate and level of foolishness these women have bestowed upon themselves because as the whole matter is on ground right now they are proving to everybody day after day what what they are capable of yes what they are capable of and that is a part that does not make sense you are married to a man you cannot listen to what the man is saying they in fact to a point that they only even had to call these women and tell them that his his aim his aim is for is for them to build the kingdom together his aim is for them to make the kingdom welcome in a place where everyone will want to come to hey but but no <laughs> It is a different thing that the only wanted and his wives wanted a different thing altogether. And here we are today to be in a prison cell. <laughs> My people will see you, will definitely see how this matter will end because who has decided to lock Toby up? We all know that she's a no-nonsense person and definitely, definitely she would not just let the matter end like that. We know her, she would not let the matter end like that. She will make sure she gets to the root of this matter if there was something between to her husband and Toby before now or Toby is just chasing clout or any single thing. We know that woman. She will not just let the matter slide like that and we hope Toby is prepared for what she has gotten herself into because at the end of the day, it is not all that glitters that is gold. If royalty does not want you, leave. Royalty gave you a chance but you threw it away. Toby be